All right, welcome back to Lone Oak, not Lone Oak, <laughs> that's a different map. Welcome back to Oakfield Farm. We're still rolling up, just starting up from where we left off. Not quite sure what he's doing. Maybe he'll get sorted out yet. But yeah, I don't know what that was, Lone Oak. Haven't been on that one in a while. But yeah. So we'll get this road up and bailed and wrapped and moved over t across the road and now apparently he's done interesting so we'll turn that off go check out oh, dude, I'll do I thought I missed it there okay move over here I don't know why he stopped here but he did so we'll just do this here for him Start him up here again. Got confused there on the tree, I guess. Oh well. That's a bit sharp. Okay. So I guess we will. Oh, well, we don't have a trailer, do we? I'll quickly take a peek in garage here. Wrapper, baler. No trailer. Nothing. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's take a look. Bailing technology. So we have that one. 26,000. I'm thinking of doing it just manually stacking. I don't have anything I can use a fifth wheel. Well, there's 16. Check the roll. Well, once we get to the Hero Park up, I'll take a look. Okay. Oh, okay, this one. So I was thinking this one here. So you can put a front shield. Not a thousand bucks. Nope. 999. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking that one. It's nice and big. Should really get quite a few on there. Twenty grand. Uh, I have to lease that. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And do all the manual stacking. Save money on the auto stacker. I thought these would be bigger wind rolls. Hmm. Probably not for realized at all. Check the map. Saving. Gross. Soil composition. Oh. Well, it's doing that weird thing again. You can't select what you want to see on the map. So, can't tell. I guess I could turn on field info and then go check, but... Oh, well, time for the first time lapse of today, and we'll get this all rode up. Hopefully, he can figure out what he's doing over there. Here we go. Okay, so as you probably can tell, I switched jobs a little bit because the worker was just getting confused with that little triangle at the bottom there. So I figured I'd just quickly finish this off and get the baler over here and probably 
Oh, I might go grab the trailer, rent the trailer right away too. Start cleaning up around the outside so I can get the worker going around with the roar and not wrecking the outside swaths. That might be the plan actually. So I'm gonna have to swap, bring the stuff back with the John Deere. Cause this has the front loader on it. So I'm gonna want this here to pick up bales with the front loader and I can't bring that back without the front loader on the tractor or so. Okay, so I'll bring this back to the yard. Oop, gate's over there. So anyways, I'll see you back in the yard hooking up the stuff and I'll come back out here. Okay, so we're back at the yard here now, hooking everything up. Just had a thought that I'm not going to be able to uh, take everything back with me in one shot. The wrapper is the main thing, can't take back. Take the front weight, or back weight for when I'm picking up bales. Oh, oof, hooked on. So we'll take this back. Okay, let's see here, I'll just tilt that back, okay, I have to come back to the wrapper before ever loading, so that kind of sucks, it looks like the first bill out here is going to be hay, oh well. So once you get back, we'll hop into the case and finish the windrowing around the outside edge. We'll do two rows around there, and then we'll see if he can, he, the worker can uh, manage the, just the straights up and down. And I can do the bailing. Mid cab. Bit of a drive. So I wonder how much we're actually going to make from all these silage bales. Hopefully a decent amount, get it almost, maybe pay for a half of what the field cost. That might be pushing it, but we'll see. No, whoa. Oh, there was a car right there. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's park this out here for now. Finish the rolling.
Also, now the color matches. Yeah, I was really hoping these swaths would be bigger. Get a bigger yield off of it. Oh well. So there's our trailer sitting there. I've leased that now. Never used it before, so we'll see how many it actually holds. Oh, oh, tired apparently. Well, dude. Whoops. Go and roll this all the way back up and around too, because I need to get back to the tractor, anyways. Hope the worker doesn't screw this up too bad. Actually, no, I'll probably clean it all off, anyways. So how's everyone's um, week been going, or last previous week? It's been good here. It's been really hot here the last while. Been aver averaging peak times with humidity and all that. Feeling like about 45-ish at peak times during the day. So it's been cooking. And lucky me, I have an outside job, and not light work either. It's been <laughs> a bit warm. Oops. I like it though. Leave that there. The fold baler. Get that out of the way. All right, let's get this done. How many bales do you think we're gonna get? That, oh, that's actually a pretty good rate filling up. I think that was better than the last field we did. What do you think? 80? Am I pushing it? We'll see what happens. Shoe birds. Okay, so let's do the second time lapse of today. Let's get this done. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're just sort of done the head and bailing now. Once we get this 
back up to the top there. We will drop the baler off. And actually, I was debating. Uh, I th I'm going to look here quickly once we're done. If this biogas plant actually takes grass bales, because um, if they do hit take grass bales, then I know most of them are paying 300 bucks per thousand. And then the silage, if you wait for silage, it's only 450. So you're only making 150 per bale extra for all that wait time. So I don't know if it'd be worth waiting for selling bar purposes. That's only 153. That's only 600 bucks extra per bale. That's 600 bucks actually per bale. Hmm. Let me know what you think. We won't sell any today, actually. Oh, that means I can't pick any up. It might be a shorter episode. Hmm. Well, first things first, we'll see if it's actually two take grass. If we don't take grass, then it'll be silage no matter what. I'm too curious now. I'll just look now. Okay, see, they do take grass. And it's for, yeah, 300 bucks. So that's six, nine. That's 1200 bucks a bale. Wow. So. What the hell? Maybe we'll sell this first trailer of bales, the headland, all of grass. Just sell it all off. And then see where that's going to leave us. Okay, leave that there. Okay, go get that trailer from the store. To whip around here. Whoop, gate's over here. No, gate's over there. I've only driven through it. How many times already? Okay. Whip down to the store quickly. Grab our trailer. Our lease trailer, that is. And we'll get to loading. A bag, a pallet of fertilizer here. Perfect. Okay. This track is. Whoa, I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> uh, man. Let's see, I was going to say this track is going to need fuel soon. Well, not that soon, but just checking it. It looks about 3 8 tank. There we go. Is that going to clear it? Yes, it does. Okay, bring this in here, just set it down, about here so, grab this spike and wait, and we'll get the clearing, really? beacons anymore. That's one.
And that's two. We'll get her on that. First things first, clear this bale that's in the way here. Alright. I'll go three high maybe. Maybe four. Let's go four high. No. I knew that was going to happen going downhill. Always stack uphill. Always don't drive too fast. All right. Shall we try this again? Come on. Nice. Oh, it's bright. Come on. I just want to get the spikes in there right now. Ah, it's close enough. Alright. Put the first four on the trailer. Shift those top two over a bit. Ah! How did they fall off? So we're off to a great start. Done four bales, and they've fallen twice already. Try this again. Uh, try this again. Light that up. There we go. Push drop over that. Oh, we can put a lot on here. Let's go clear up that corner.
One more. Six hundred? No. Bring this closer. short time lapse this last little few bit right last amount of bales Okay, so we're back here again. Just about done. We got what? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 bales in there now. they would be worth the same for just mulching up yeah okay so got a couple more here to do then we go drop these all into the biogas plant and see if we get a midnight and then we'll decide what we want to do afterwards for the rest of it and as if we want to uh, keep it all as grass because it is quicker you don't have to wait for it fermenting and all that crap. But yeah. After 600 bucks a bale. Is it worth it? That is the question. If this is for me, well, yeah, it is for me, but if I was keeping this for a cow, that might have just done it in the pit. Ah! Ooh, caught that. Stay. Mm. Ah. Look straighter on that. Maybe I can push it. I'm feeling that might go over. If I hit that too fast. Can I get that? 
Come on. Oh, nice. Come on. That's a little bit shafe, but... It'll work, I think. No. Oh, it's just straight. Ah, come on. Straighten that a bit more. There we go. That's better. Let's see if we can straighten out those top two bales a bit. Ah! Oh. No! Oh, no! Uh, of course. If only they had some mass to them. Real, these bales are huge. They never just like slowly fidget off there. Yes, with each game that comes, they are slowly getting better with it, but it's still a long ways off where it needs to be. After all, this is farming simulator. I guess it is simulator. <laughs> and it's a point two. And it's not real. But it should be closer. Where's this trap points? Okay, move this up to the top of the field and get the last four on there. Oof, heavy. We'll set that just about there. We'll leave that bale that's on the baler there. Last four. There's been a lot of pausing in this recording. I don't know if you'll be able to notice. I'll try to edit it fairly well so it will also be smoother. But I've been interrupted quite a few times. It's not a problem, it's just. It's more of work for me. usually like to record this later at night when everyone's gone to bed and all that, but don't haven't had time lately. Now I'm doing it a bit earlier in the evening while people are still around. Okay. These last four on. Oh, don't want to push the whole trailer over yet. There you go. Okay, we'll drive this down to the BG and quickly get it unloaded.
And go out of the cab so I can see where it's swinging. Haven't used this trailer at all before, so I don't really know how it um, reacts to weight on it. If it feels top heavy or not, if it sways, teeters, and all that stuff. So maybe I should stay out and keep an eye on it. There was one other one I used to use a little bit. It was just awfully put like two bales on it. It's just all we wanted to tip. Oh no. Oh boy. Turn traffic off. Might need to go up here to get better swing around on a different field because that is a stupid entrance to try to get out of. Okay, this is heavy apparently. Please don't tip. 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 <gasps> Oh, that was way too close. Alright. Oops. Turn traffic back on. Too fast. Slow it down a bit. That was very close to tipping. Too close. Okay, wish there was a gate closer to the side here. Okay, we'll get this unloaded. Come on. Okay. Oh, here are the first four. Might have to turn the speed up time a bit. this I think it holds 50,000 so yeah oh knock the other side off great
And there's four more after this. Those are all over the ground, so I have to pick those up. up this way. Not all of them, but last one. Gonna do it. Thanks for watching. Later.